All right, I've arrived in Dongguan. All right, so we are headed out to lunch on the wheels. We made it. I'm at the hotel. They let me borrow the extreme to get around their city. So because it is so, so hot outside, we're gonna take a break, take a nap, and I'll probably head back over there around four o'clock. We'll record what we can. Uh, I will say, their newest wheel, I am not able to show you guys yet. I'm going to record it and release it when the time is right. But, I've been talking to my extreme bowl friend, and he is going to let me record the Griffin. So I'm gonna get to record the Griffin right now. That wheel is on its way back from Hong Kong. They were showing people out there. So then it'll be my turn with it and we'll check it out. Yo, 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 what's up everybody? Today I'm once again hanging out with Bagod and Bagod's brother actually came over and is gonna let me ride their new wheel. That's right, the Griffin. I was actually really excited to try this thing out. I've been seeing it everywhere online and it looks sharp, man. It looks like a sharp wheel. Love the mud guard. Got the Extreme Bowl logo. Got some LEDs running through. I especially love these pads up top so that whenever you step on, your leg's not smashing against any hard plastic or anything. Big bright display. Got a street tire and also battery casings are protected here in the front, which is really cool. Not down here, but that's all right. I don't think I'll be taking this guy off road too much today. Headlights. Cool. I'm gonna take it out for a spin. Alrighty, so we're actually going out for a bit of a group ride again. Yo, it's a huge group ride. <laughs> Even though this wheel is pretty big, it feels super agile and nimble. Stopping, accelerating, super easy. There's a wheel I've ridden before that feels similar to this, but they're not the same. feels really really good it has a soft feel to it but as the as it compresses more I'm not gonna bottom out it feels nice and strong but super cushy even just for these little bumps at low speeds it feels really nice something about this wheel makes it so easy to ride I honestly believe if you're out there looking for your first EUC you could start off with, with this wheel if you're already pretty athletic uh, you feel like you can learn things pretty easily because uh, something about the height, the weight, the agility of this wheel, it just all goes together really well. Also, this wheel looks sick. It looks like a Batmobile. And at night, you'll see here later, these uh, RGB lights on top really stand out. Super cool. Seated riding, nice and comfortable, no problem there. It's got a nice and wide top to sit down on. And the suspension's exactly how I want it. Uh, going over bumps and cracks, I don't really feel them that much, but also going off of big ledges, like that curb I hopped off earlier, I don't feel like it's anywhere near bottoming out. The more it compresses, the stronger the rebound is. I don't know how to put that into words.
so worried about speed wobbles again because <laughs> I'm still recovering from my last crash with the death wobbles. This wheel, this wheel feels super stable at speeds, but you know, it's just my nerves. I start thinking about the wobbles and then I start getting wobbles. Ugh. So I'm honestly taking it easy on this wheel, but boy, this wheel wants to go. It wants to go, go, go. Dude, these are some crazy hills. I am really worried for that next one. It, it looks like a tiny little hill in this camera, but all of you might get nervous over this. I am. I can't let these guys down. How? You may see you. Oh my gosh, I'm really worried about this hill. I don't want to drop this wheel down the freaking mountain. These are the steepest hills I've ever gone up. Like, even just walking up them is really a challenge. Oh no, they stopped. They stopped. What's on my butt? Oh, oh. oh. it's so steep. <laughs> What's up? Oh. I hate getting on. <laughs> but I prefer going up them. Dude, I don't know if I can make it down. I'd rather fall on my frontwards than fall backwards. <laughs> Alright, now we're back on the Griffin. And oh my gosh. It still feels super light, but it doesn't feel like a toy. So we just went all the way up on top of a mountain and I did it on the uh, Blitz. Nothing handles it so well, but it just has the uh, street tire right now. So if we could get an off-road version of that wheel, it would be sick. Oh, I wonder how many spiders I'm going to get on me. Ooh. Nice. So T4 <laughs> Interesting, there's a concrete trail in the middle of these woods. We'll fall down that way, that would not be fun. Stairs. Oh, good. Dude, this wheel makes me really confident, actually. It's weird because it feels light but also strong at the same time. This wheel can do it, bro. It can do it. And we're a street tire too, baby. Ooh. Oh, I 
the back. Out here. That's too close to the edge. I'm gonna walk it like a gentleman. Gentleman's walk. Easy. <gasps> oh, so sweaty. All my gear is slowly sliding off with every bump. I need to tighten it. Oh, and let me guess, we're going up again. How, how tall is this mountain? Dude. <laughs> Almost fell. We slid. Street tires off roading, man. Nuts. For skilled riders having to go at it. Oh, he's got it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he made it. Should I go? Oh, there you go. Oh. Nice. Now it's my turn. This thing has torque. You just have to access it. It doesn't feel as easy to get it. Maybe because the wheel is not as tall. I just rode a taller wheel. Oh. Ain't that something? Oh, it's here. Boy, that looks gorgeous. My goodness. Wow. Well, now we're going down. Down, down, down. Oh, here comes pedal clearance. What's here? Now we're headed back down. I hope we don't come across anything crazy steep. I hate going down when it's really steep and slick. I'd rather go up. Ooh, treacherous. Hey. Fly. This kind of trail riding I can do. That crazy slippery steep stuff, not for me. Oh, and this is looking freaking steep. Here we go. Gosh dang it. No. No. Tien, oh. look how steep that is. I hate recording slopes with the camera because you guys have no idea how steep this is. Tiena, 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 Tiena. Three tires, three tires, three tires. Three tires, three tires, three tires. Got you. Oh. Oh. Boy, I think I've lost like 10 pounds. Half of that water, half of that fat. Do I look skinnier, guys? How do I look? Ooh. Oh, so much better. But dude, I really think this wheel can do it all. It can do off-road, it can do on-road. What, Tien? Like, if I took my master out to do this, what I just did, I would be exhausted. I'd be so exhausted. That wheel is amazing for street, good for light trails, but man, going up steep hills, crazy terrain, that thing would take all the energy out of me. 
But this wheel is so easy to handle. It's really easy to handle. Like I'm out of my comfort zone, whew, level wise. But this wheel makes me forget that. Oh. Ah, pit stop. I may still. Oh, Okay. Oh, okay. 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 All right. And with that, guys, concludes the Griffin. Really enjoyed this wheel. Hope to get to ride it again, maybe with an off-road tire, because this thing is really good off-road. All-around wheel. Hope you guys enjoyed. Catch you later. Easy, easy. I was nervous at first actually. It's the most stairs I've gone down. So I met up with everybody after I showered to uh, eat some dinner. And uh, the... Uh... What is this? It's the GT Pro. I've never seen it before. It's huge. It's so big. It's like a boat. Look at that goodness but the suspension on this thing is nuts it is so soft Ooh. but after riding really light wheels today this feels so heavy my goodness what a comfortable ride though it's like riding a horse go back and eat what a mess of wheels this thing is nuts it's huge after we ate our fill, we went to go sing at a karaoke place. It's always a good time.